Now, the battle for Madhya Pradesh escalates. Congress MP and AICC in charge Randeep Surjewala says, and I quote, We are promising to provide gas cylinders at 500 rupees, 100 units of free electricity and 50% of a subsidy up to 200 units. Uh, this also includes 1500 rupees per month will be provided to women in the state and free electricity up to 5 horsepower to the farmers. Beyond this, 27% reservation is going to be given to the backward communities and caste-based census will be done in Madhya Pradesh. Listen in. कि 500 रुपए में गैस का सिलेंडर देंगे, 100 यूनिट बिजली माप 200 तक हाफ, बेटियों को 1500 रुपए प्रति माह, किसानों को 5 हॉर्स पावर तक की आ, मोटर का बिल माप, कर्मचारियों को पुरानी पेंशन, पिछड़ों को 27 परसेंट आरक्षण, प्रदेश को जाति का जनगणना, किसान का कर्जा माप। इसलिए साथियों कदम कदम पर ये यात्रा बढ़ती जाएगी। और भाजपा की उल्टी गिनती शुरू हो जाएगी। Now we're crossing over to CNN News 18's uh, senior editor Pallavi Ghosh who's getting us more on this. Uh, Pallavi, one thing I do want to ask about this is we're talking about these promises that are being made ahead of the elections in Madhya Pradesh. Is it likely that we could see criticism coming in for this, especially when you contrast it with what's happening in Karnataka? Yes, absolutely, because in, you're right, because in Karnataka, many promises which have been made through the government is implemented. It, there's also been an acknowledgement that there's a paucity of funds. But we also have to understand that during election time, political parties make these kind of promises. For example, just a few days back, Shivrat Singh Chauhan has announced gas cylinders at 450 rupees for women. Today, the Congress is trying to counter that also as well. Uh, it, it's a state in which it is a do or die and touch and go for both the sides. While there's an anti-incumbency against the BJP, the Congress is equally hopeful that these kind of measures, especially wooing the women voters as far as the caste centers plus the backwards, could work in their favor. But we know that this is also often seen as freebies in which every political party ends up doing it, while the Prime Minister and the BJP have always made the point that they may make political spends, but economically speaking, in the long run, it is something which is not feasible, it is not even workable. But I don't think at this point of time anyone is even interested in listening to that, which is why, Aisha, with elections just to go in a couple of months' time, this is something which we are going to be hearing from both the sides. Very interesting. Pallavi, do stay with us. There's some more information and I'll come back to you for this. Uh, Madhya Pradesh Congress, they've go they're going to begin a Jan Akrosh Yatra from the, 15th of of, sorry, from the 19th of September. Let's cross back over to CNN News 18 Senior Editor Pallavi Ghosh. Uh, Pallavi, what else do we know about this Yatra? So it's for 15 days. It's going to cover 11,400 kilometers. And basically they're going to touch to all the important constituencies in the areas to highlight the fact and according to the Congress, the people are angry. People are angry with the state government. And that's why they want to go up to the people, listen to them, get their voices recorded and make the point that, look, this is an approach. There is anger among the people. And this is anger which can translate into a win for the Congress party. Palvi, do you think there's going to be any obstacle when it comes to this yatra, when it comes to getting permission? Well, I think uh, what happens is that whenever you go to at least the sensitive areas, there are some factors or certain permissions you need to take. But if I'm sure they've uh, organized this yatra, they have taken the necessary permissions. Uh, most political parties do. It's not that only the Congress is doing it. Every political party does it. And of course, they have to be mindful of security concerns, which area they're going to be going to. Uh, yatras are one way in which political parties are seen as connecting directly with the people. Uh, we saw, for example, the Bharat Joro Yatra by Rahul Gandhi. According to a Congress, calculations it had its traction so they're hoping that Janako Shatra 2 will get its traction. All right Pallavi thank you so much for joining us and bringing us those very important details. We'll continue to return to you for more updates.